fucking nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping. Hobo wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't flarkin' funny. I know you're in a dark place right now. Literally. But we're not gonna give up. Just point us in the right direction. Anyone? There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I have a bad idea. I thing. hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. special they are the only thing that matters my hovat was the most fearless mate i've ever known she brought me peace even during times of war my camaria my innocent little camaria she was the best of us both despite her meager stature they both were were. They were. Peter Quill. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion, fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. Cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. <gasps> Shall love and honor you both. Always.
How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Pure Quill, your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Oh no, he shaved and dressed, I guess. and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. <laughs> eh, that first fight don't count. Look, I don't know what's going on, but it's clear this is at least a little bit your fault. My contrition is clear. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark... Such was my celestial solitude, power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. Lessened, plagued by a pox I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. You worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? Sounds like you were careless. Deluded by desperation. My mind was melding with Magus. Did it work at least? In a savage sense. Split my soul in twain and cast us to the cosmos. So, no. For me, there was only darkness. I awoke half whole. Certain the stone shattered. How Magus merged with another, I know not. I think I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Perel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ, and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki, and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, 
chained to the child. That's what Corell said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you- What's going- Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. Those triangle porters remind me a lot of some they can max. Convert anyone. We found her. We need to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. more in this iteration than in the movies. You wanna pop a squat, golden boy? You're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. You can always fly by yourself. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? He has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but... We do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. What? Those... I wouldn't bet on Peter that? winning that fight. More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. Maybe. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Hey, Quill. You, you seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? 
I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. <laughs> well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. We rode and saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Should it's more know. fun crafting my stuff, but I'll lend you a paw. My stuff. I finally doubled one. <laughs> Actually, that might be useful. Um, slow time before dodging until a second. No. Um, increase health points. Yeah, that could be useful. Give me that one. Doing, doing. I doubt even you could break that. I hope. Damn it, drugs. Stop. You, you have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Stop I thought I was opening the only it. One who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. You. Put your back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Mm. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive, and, and, uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you? What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't... No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. Great. Cool. Fantastic.